Hello everybody, today I will be showing you a scene from the Avatar The Last Airbender episode 14, season 1, The Fortune Teller. After I show you the scene, I will be explaining the lesson that I learned from watching that particular scene. Thank you. Before I share with you the scene, I would like to summarize a bit what the episode is, is about because you might not understand the scene if you haven't watched the episode. So for those who haven't watched the episode, the episode is about, so is, is so in the episode, Aang and Katara and Saka, Saka, is, um, they're wandering around in the woods, and they meet this guy, right, they meet this guy that is, that is being attacked by a bear platypus, platypus, and Aang and Katara and Zaka are telling him to do all sorts of maneuvers to try to avoid being attacked by the by the bear platypus. But he seems calm, he seems at ease. He doesn't seem to mind that he's being attacked because he has been oh he has talked to a fortune teller and the fortune teller has told him that today he he will be in good shape or like in good hands that not to worry about what, what what goes on through your day because you're gonna be okay and Katara and Aang and Zuko are like kind of uh, confused or amazed at it Zuko is like doesn't believe in that so he's really skeptical about it so he tries to say that the reason why he, he didn't he survived the attack is because they saved him but yet that Zaka and Zuko and Aang I mean not Zuko Katara save him but yet the guy says well the lady's prediction was right the fortune teller was right he still got saved so her prediction was right <coughs> Sorry. Um, so eventually, everybody believes the fortune teller, even Aang, even Katara, except, except Shaka still. And then they, the fortune teller reads the, the, the volcano and says that the volcano will not erupt this year and the town will be saved, but to but to their surprise or um, Aang goes to the volcano and figures out that the volcano is about to erupt so he goes to the town and he tells everybody that to take everybody and to to take your faith into your own hands because the fort she was wrong that the volcano is going to erupt so this is what the video is about, summarizing it. I will now show you the scene. Aunt Wu was wrong! Yeah, yeah, we know you don't believe in Aunt Wu, Mr. Science and Reason Lover. If you won't listen to him, maybe you'll listen to me. I want to believe Aunt Wu and her predictions as much as you do. But my brother and Aang saw the lava with their own eyes. Well, I heard Aunt Wu's prediction with my own ears. Can your science explain why it rains? Yes! Yes, it can! So as you saw in the scene, nobody believes Saka or Katara. So Ang takes a stance and tells everybody, you can't rely on Aunt Wu's prediction, the fortune teller. And you guys, you guys, and he says, you are all in danger and you must take faith into your own hands. So what does that how did I interpret this message or what does it mean to me? What it means to me is that a lot of us, oh, I've been guilty of this. I'm not saying that you, but maybe you may. 
but a lot of people just depend on other things like like they, they depend on other people for their lives or uh, they depend on other people in their lives and they blame it on other people or they rely on like the fortune cookies like you open a fortune cookie and it says oh today is going to be a good day or you're going to be blessed one of these days you're going to have a good surprise that that you will love but in reality you're just reading a fortune telling and then you're reading it and you believe it so you're expecting those things to come So it says, so Ang says, take faith into your own hands. So another way, another way that I interpret it is that like, don't depend on other people to take you to the to the place to be this, to the destination you are trying to reach. Like, don't depend on other people. Do it yourself. Build, build yourself to take you there. Create yourself. Don't depend. Don't weigh on people because. You might be wait. You're gonna. You might die waiting. Like, take. Take faith into your own hands. Take responsibility for your actions. Take responsibility to where you want to go, so you can reach that destination instead of waiting for somebody, and then if that person never helps you out or takes you there, you won't regret it. So. Uh, yeah, take faith into your own hands. And another thing is, let's say, like on the fortune cookie, why not just wake up one morning and tell yourself, today I am going to be blessed. Today I'm going to expect good things. Today good things will happen to me. Today I'm going to meet people who are empathetic and generous. Today I'm going to meet people that are kind. Today is going to be a good day. Today I will be blessed. Today I'm going to be blessed. Today is going to be a really, really, really good day. And by telling yourself that and believing yourself that, like the day will be good. But if you tell yourself, oh, today is going to be a bad day. If you be, it's like saying people who believe in good and bad luck. Like in a way, I feel like it probably does exist, or in a way it doesn't. Like. It's like if somebody's saying, oh, I have, I have been having bad luck. Like, I honestly don't believe in bad luck to, like, a certain extent. I just believe in the perspective or the way you're looking at things. Because if you're just looking at it and considering your your circumstances, circumstances or your troubles as bad luck, you're going to keep adding, adding, and adding, and adding, and adding, and adding to the list. And everything's going to be bad luck. And then you're just going to be like, Putting yourself down in those, in what I believe is probably a negative way. Instead of telling yourself, instead of focusing on the good, like why not focus on the good instead of the bad? And if you focus more on the good, you're gonna see more good. If you focus more on the bad, you're gonna see more bad. So why not focus on the good? Be your own fortune teller in a way. Like it's not bad to open the fortune cookies and. In a way, it is positive. It is positive. It's good, you know. It brings positivity to yourself, and you could believe it. But what I'm trying to say is, like, make your own faith, create your own faith. And to give you a little bonus, I will share another scene to back up what I'm saying from the Avatar: The Last Airbender, season one, episode fourteen, The Fortune Teller. Everything's gonna be all right. Can I ask you something? Of course, honey. You didn't really see love in my fortune, did you? You just told me what I wanted to hear. I'll tell you a little secret, young airbender. Just as you reshape those clouds, you have the power to shape your own destiny. Goodbye, everyone! So there you have it. If you found this video useful, please share with somebody that might benefit from it. Somebody that you are, may be able to help. And if you want to learn more wisdom or acquire more wisdom, watch the whole episode. I'm pretty sure you're going to learn more wisdom because I'm not, I'm just showing little scenes from the episodes. I'm not showing all the wisdom that these, this, that the episode has to offer. So if you're interested or curious, watch the whole episode or watch the whole season. 
I recommend it if you're trying to improve yourself as a being and improve your relationship with others and I guarantee you you're going to you're going to love it. Gracias.